I'm going to do a speed run at modelling an existing building from location information and a photo using a match photo function under camera. So to start with we're going to add a location. It's going to let that load up. So in this case I've already uh, typed in the location so it knows where I am. I'm going to hit select region and I'm going to there's a crosshairs on the middle I'm going to, uh, of the photo. I'm going to bring that over the corner of the building so I can get it right. And if we want, we can adjust the corners and add some more. And hit grab and let it bring that information in. So I can then orbit around and you can see pretty close to being where we need it. Okay. Uh, we can turn that on and off later but for now we've got that. So uh, there's a function that you might need to bring in uh, by right clicking on the customize icon and in here toggle terrain uh, I've dragged that up already so we can just hit done. Uh, I'm going to click that and you can see there's a slight shift that the um, model does so it actually brings the slope in that we're dealing with. I'm going to turn it off again for now. Um, uh, and this building is here that we're going to model but you can start to see the roof shape and some of the other pieces that we can can work off for this. So uh, I want to now go up to camera, match new photo and I've already imported some onto the top so I want this one here, the middle one, so we can hit open and it brings this in. So we've got a few things to deal with. One of them scale, as you can see the little person there, but we can worry about that shortly. Uh, first of all, we want to bring this into the, the corner of the building, so the, the center. So I'm going to bring that right in and start adjusting some of the lines. So let's just bring that in. So we, I'm going to do this quite rough, but you can see how I'm bringing these lines in on uh, known perspectives. So in this case let's follow that building there, or the billboard, and that one there. Uh, bring this up. So I'm going to go, let's do this inside corner to inside corner. Uh, let's bring this one right up here as well. So there's some places we can start to see where we want these. So I'm going to zoom in now and just double check how accurate these are. So that's a little bit off. So I'm going to try and get that a lot more accurate to the bottom of the windows. Okay. And how's this one? Let's get it on that line. Zoom out and down into this one. So you can see when you, well, too far. Zoom right in. We need to get these a bit better. So we can see when we zoom in, at the moment our scale is wrong but we'll adjust that shortly. Uh, here we've got this big face that we need to um, work off and another face which is off here and then everything sets, is set back off the, the base of these columns so that, that becomes our, our datum. So let's just zoom in and up here get these right. Zoom into that one, and that looks pretty good. So, pretty happy. So, you can see these other grid things we can start to match up as well. So with where these are placed. So, just try and get those as accurate as we can. So, they're not too bad. Let's see how we're going. takes a, a little bit of back and forth. 
So we've sort of got that close. Come back up to photo match and uh, just click that so that we're on the outside or is it a corner? That's what you want, which is what it was. Uh, so the grid is on. Planes are looking good. Uh, spacing. I'm not too sure what that is. Let's just see. I don't know what that does. Anyway, so if we go down, it should lock it in for us now. So we can just pan that up where we want. And now we can start drawing different pieces in. Uh, you can see the terrain in the background, which is a completely different scale. So I'm just going to turn that off as well. Not components. Outliner. So here it is here, and I can just... Um, that's locked. Why can't we turn that off? Don't want to unlock it, so we want to hide it somehow. Let's create a new layer as well. Layers, so oh, they're already there. So let's just check that one. So we'll just turn that off in the layers palette. So I'm going to close the outliner up. So the layers there, we've got to make sure that we're on layer zero and that it's visible. So now I need to come in here and start. Uh, drawing some some pieces around. Let's just see how well this goes because it doesn't look quite so clear as before. So we just need to adjust some of these. Let's spacing so let's just drop those down to 1000 so there are meter intervals now uh, or even make them 500 okay and then we can figure out roughly where 500 would be so if we save here Okay, and we can go back to done. So I want to draw some uh, lines in now. So I'm going to start there and come up to there and then across. So you can see here I haven't quite got the the angles right. So I'm going to actually stop there and come back up to the model and uh, try another plan. So I'm going to just do this. Let's see here. Try 
and find something that we know is vertical so that we can get it aligned properly. So let's draw some lines in now and just see how we're going. I've sort of moved that face back so I don't think I've quite got it right still. Oh, let's go back and have a look. Okay, so I think I've got this sorted now. So I'm going to do uh, a line straight up here, wherever our line has gone, to about there, and then one following all the way down here, making sure it stays on the red axis, and then one down here, which is sort of aligning up pretty good, and then one back and across to there. So now we've got a, a plane in that face. We use the push pull tool. Let's pull that out and push that back. So you can start to see how that's being pushed back. So I want it to sort of come down in around here somewhere about there. And we can worry about the specifics later on. Uh, I what do we need to do here? So come in here and I want to draw a line. Let's see, use a tape measure, bring that in along, that's going along the green face. So there we go. So we want that sort of, where do we want that? In around here. Probably about there, I think that. and uh, then these pieces pull out from there. So let's see how we're going to do this. So we need that parapet at the end as well, so let's put that in to there. And there. So we've got that face in, so we can push pull that down. Let's undo that. And make sure we get it the right the same length as the other. So there. So that's not too bad uh, for what we're trying to do. Let's come in and draw some of these windows so it'll be nice and easy. So draw a line there and up pretty close and across there and there. Make sure we stay on that face and everything's aligned. So you can see how we've got those connected. I want to use an arch tool and let's zoom in and get it so we can get it right. So that's pretty close. Do something similar along here. So I'm going to push the L for the uh, line tool, mouse over that endpoint, and follow down here on the red. And when we get that up, and then you can see it infers across. Push escape and then line again down the bottom. Make sure we stick on the red face and then up so it's inferred. And then zoom in and do the arc tool across. And then make sure we're going up. So we've got those faces happening. Whoa. Here and do something similar. In this case, we just need the rectangle tool. So rectangle in that corner, and that's not doing what we want. So let's undo that. So 
so we start with some lines so unface to the air and down to about the air and across so we've got that window and we can do the same so the make sure we follow those inferior points across and there so that's quite close so we want now probably about there and just go up what do we got and then a bit on the face So what we can also do is we can orbit out of that shape and see how things are looking. So you can see if we come around this side that the windows aren't looking too bad. So what I'm going to do is select that window there and move option and I'm going to click on that corner and move that down to there. So you can see they're looking quite good. And if we can go back and check how that fits in and that's fitting in quite nicely now into that corner so those three windows are starting to be there and uh, we've got some other pieces to start modelling so we can keep modelling I'm just going to pause while I do some more work on it okay, so I've um, gone in and remodelled or added a lot of detail not everything but you can start to see now I've um, got quite a lot lined up I didn't follow the image correct directly I um, set up some centre lines to, to, to work from uh, and then make some even dimensions so it's going to be easier to work later on but you can see it, it fits reasonably nicely there's some points some of the windows don't quite line up and I think that's to, partly to do with the, the perspective so I've tried to um, uh, adjust it so everything's centred uh, I hope that helps uh, and I'll um, see how we go in the end.